Well guys, I can already see the writing on the wall. This wheel is pretty wide and that tire is pretty narrow. I'm going to have a hard time getting the beads to pop out enough to uh, seat. I'm probably going to have to use my brake cleaner method. Oh, well, and I've got the tire sitting in front of the heater furnace output right now to uh, warm up and soften up a little bit. While we're waiting, I actually went out and bought bigger valve stems because if you remember yesterday I tried to... Uh, I had the normal size and they just drop right in the hole. That's the normal size and I don't do nothing. It would fall right out. So today, got a little uh, soap and water here. I got my valve stems. I sent the wife to the store yesterday as she was out shopping. And this should pop right in. And then, come on, did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. So there you go. I just needed a fatter based. I didn't even know they made different size bases on bell stems. So there you go. That's a little long, but it's all right for a trailer spare. This probably won't ever go down the road, but it's always good to have your spare, you know. Uh, mounting this tire should be easy because I see. And I know you guys are probably sick of hearing that. That this detent is nice and deep. So that makes getting the first bead over the rim into that, and she'll pop right over the rim just like that. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to lube it up. I think I'll put this sucker might be tight. This one might be a tough one. She's a little stiff still. It was cold in here all night. I might have to put a clamp on this like I've done before. Come on, baby. I don't want to get the whole dang thing on there. You know what? Clamp time. Yeah, I guess I showed you guys this before. Put a clamp, clamp right on the rim here. And that holds your first bead on. The problem is, now, see this stupid bug. This is going to be probably the worst tire I've had to do. Because this thing is too tight. Maybe that'll work. Twist this to the side a little bit. So both of these beads being so close together, and forcing that up in there is going to be difficult. Uh, hey, Mo! I'm getting the whole thing out at once. Maybe I'll just do that. I wonder if that's possible. I mean, it's feasible. Actually, she looks like she wants to go right now. Let's try this big piece. This thing's got a lot of leverage. All right. There's one of them. I'm going to hold him right there. Another reason for soap in these beads. Oh yeah, she's gonna go. Is it actually helps the iron slide? I can 
get that one up on the roof. Oh, how? Both at once, that's pretty crazy. Watch this pop right back off. It shouldn't though, because it's past halfway. And that's kind of the point where they actually want to give. Can't be greedy and take too much. Wants to go. The problem is, is the southern lip is kind of going bass backwards. I never did two beads at once. This would be a first. Of course, that's not like I do these tires all the time either. That's almost over though. That's only got like three quarters of an inch to go. If I can get a little sucker. <laughs> Who'd have thought, huh? Who'd have thought? See, there's my dilemma. As you can see, I won't say it. You can see that uh, one side of this tire is way below where she needs to be to seat. I'm trying to decide whether I should uh, put my sealant in there first. I'm going to clean the soap off now. I can blow these on with brake. I just don't like to do it, but when you're desperate, you're desperate. I'm going to beat seal these. I'm going to leave her set right flat on the concrete, and I think Actually, the fumes of the stupid bead sealer might blow that baby right out. Now, one of the tricks is to take the stem out. Yeah, because there's no way in hell. I mean, I can try a rope. Let me try a rope and a tourniquet. So, I went and got me a rope. Big enough. I've seen them done with the ropes, I've seen them done with the ratchet straps. Actually, that is doing it. She's got to come out a lot. I'm just trying to get this sucker on there. I don't know if I got any pressure left in my two flase here. Sounds like I got a little. Come on, baby. The air burping out. She wants to go. She's gonna go. She's caught. I've only got this set for 35 pounds. So this thing ain't gonna blow. Let me check the back. 
Alright, I gotta undo my uh Well, I have to admit I, I didn't think the rope trick would work. Alright. And that'll take a little while to seat itself in it or they always do. They always leak for a little bit. See what I got in there. 20, 25 pounds. We can normally run these guys at. Forty. That's thirty-five. This is good for 90 PSI cold. I don't think I need that on a boat trailer. I maybe you put 40 in it. These were the old wheels that were on this ancient boat trailer that I bought. And this is actually a little smaller than the actual tire. The tire is the same rim size, but the tire is a 520 or something like that. I'm just going to bolt this on the frame for a uh, for a spare. So, I'm going to crank my uh, pressure up to. Oh, it's got it's got 60 pounds in it. So I ain't going to overpressure this little tire anyway. I don't see see all the leaks in this one anyway. She's a. Uh, Okay, we're up to almost 40. I think that's plenty. My boat isn't real heavy. That'll be perfect. Alright guys, well, that's all there is to that little fiasco. I'm surprised that both beads went on at once. That was kind of cool. In a strange sort of way. I'll keep an eye on this pressure for a couple days before I go. I don't need this till spring. I'm not even going to the lake till spring. So, all right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you today. I just want to make one comment about how we seated the bead and expanded the tire. I've always tried to use ratchet straps, but I think because they're wider, they want to just press the tire in. I think actually the rope being almost a single point contact around the tire and then using a like a tourniquet method it actually is the reason it expands so I'm definitely gonna have to try rope and a tourniquet on my next tires that I'm trying to see versus the uh, blowing them on with uh, explosive liquids right <laughs> alright guys God bless take care we'll see you next time alright guys after we did this a few minutes ago I've come to the decision that I'm going to break it off, just break the beads, and actually try to do that bead sealer because this popped on so good. I still got my rope, I still got my, uh, my tourniquet if I need it. Seeing these are still soapy and everything, these beads should break really easy. Actually, there's no bead bump in here at all. And I see it leaking a little bit right here now that I'm dropping the pressure. So I think bead sealer is called for. And I think, once in a while I think, I think I can just bust this. She's creeping down. Come on, baby. There we go. See how these small tires, these pumpy clamps are big enough. So I think I'm going to 
Well, I got her on her back. That doesn't sound appropriate. I'm going to wipe out the remaining soapy water. Because I said, I just like my other spare tire that I did the other day for the, the Envoy. This is going to sit outside in the weather probably too. Of course, I'll probably take it off the trailer for the winter and put it in the, in the boathouse. Now yesterday, this turned out not to be as messy as I thought. Lose my stem. Okay, it's right there. Let that drizzle down a little bit first. And there we go. And I'm just putting it on the tire itself, but when that seats, that'll press it right up against the. I'll wipe off the, the remains of that so it's not so messy looking either. Look at that. Let's see me getting it down in there. Get it right on the bead. That's why it's called bead sealer. <laughs> to the, yeah, anyway, Captain Obvious. Plug up my valve. Get rid of on here. Put it on the metal all the way around. That sucker will never come off. I'll be regretting this probably someday. Hopefully, I don't ever have to take this off. I probably won't be on this world anymore when uh, this needs to be replaced. So. side looks pretty good. Let's wipe off the tire. No, oh, maybe I'll wait until he... Let's see if I can get this guy sucked down. The other guy, did you see, that was kind of funny. It took a little while. Boy, that guy's tight. She's gone. I can see it. Creeping down. Yep, it's slipping. Slipping in a slide. There she goes. Alright. Same drill. Off the both beads. I guess they're both beads. One's the tire bead and one's the wheel bead. I don't know of any other terminology for it. Right. Shouldn't let that fall back in there. Tire mounts, it'll push that right up in there nice. This is a little bit messier job than the envoy job, but I don't know why the envoy went on really easy yesterday. Do not try to mount tires yourself. It's a dangerous thing. So I can't advocate mounting tires yourself. It says right on the tires, do not mount yourself. Have it done by a professional. And I'm sure if 
you were going to blow these tires on, there's enough of this nasty vapors whew, to do so. Alright, we'll get that guy right out of the way. Looks like I need my tourniquet again. Still got my loop in it. Perfect. Works as nice as it did. I want to look like an idiot. I do that just fine all by myself. So this is pinches. There we go. Slide her down a little bit. Uh, have I got my holes here? No, I can get my holes. I still got pressure. I think I can knock it. Yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna turn it on yet. We don't want to do that right now. I think there's enough pressure rising in the tank to inflate this a little bit. My connection is pisses all the time. stem pin in it. Right. Yep, she's caught. Got glasses on so in case anything pops. this. Don't see no bubble in there, do you? <laughs> I don't care if this has got a little goop on it. Anyway, as I said, it's just a... I think that stuff is like vulcanizing cement. You could probably use it as a tire tube patch. Well, that's that for that dude. I'll top this off, but I guess you guys don't need to see me do that and hear that air compressor run. You can see what's done. All right, guys. We sealed her, so she'll be good for the go, I hope. Take care. God bless.